Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Obviously we have something new here. As you can tell by the title, we are transforming myself from a bald baddie into a what? I don't know what you would call it actually. I thought I had something there. I, I really did think I had something there, but I don't have something there. So we're gonna go from this to this. All right, so we're going from baldiana to blowout, okay? And it's super easy, although I struggled a little bit. Hair videos make me so nervous, but Either way, if you guys wanna see how I go from Baldiana to Blowout, go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do that, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and let's get right into today's video. If I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do. This is the wig. It's freshly washed and it's 26 inches with 200 density. I'm gonna put it on just so you guys can see what it's checking in for. Okay, so it's a lot of hair and like at first I was like I want I want more like I want to add more bundles to it But it's already a lot of hair like this is a lot of hair. I'm definitely gonna have to tweeze the hairline a little bit like It is a little bit on the thicker side. The lace is pretty thick. I will say that the lace is pretty pretty thick um, but that all comes later. This is going to be a multi-day project. The most important part is I don't have any hair, which means I don't need any of these hair clips, okay? So these are all going. Can you guys see the hair clips? The one that's on the side. Um, the one I think this is at the top of the head. This one annoys me the most, so this one's going first. And then the one's on the side and then the one in the back. This elastic band is going because one, I never knew how to use it like with a wig. I always felt like it was in the way, so that's gone. And uh, I'm going to sew the wefts in here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna link the original video that I found that taught me how to do that. And then um, I'll be able to dye the hair, bleach the knots, and then install the wig. But this is what it's checking for. So far, I will say that there has been some shedding. It's not a lot of shedding, but it's noticeable shedding. So I would say like on a scale of one to 10, I would give it like a three or four um, when it comes to the shedding. But once it dries, it dried really nicely and like look at the curl pattern like look how beautiful that is like that is gorgeous okay um so right now I would say how I would rate the wig itself before like installing and everything just fresh out the package and freshly washed I would give it a seven um the lace is pretty thick and I feel like the thicker the lace you know the more the harder it is to go ahead and melt it um, it is pretty thick lace, um, but I feel like that's good for somebody who's a beginner. I feel like I'm past beginner, definitely in the intermediate zone when it comes to laying down wigs. But uh, if you are new to wigs, I would say getting thicker lace is good for you because it gives you wiggle room to play because if you have a thinner lace front, you're gonna wind up like messing up the lace quicker and easier and it's gonna be hard to like repair and fix and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend getting something that has thicker lace. Um, I do believe this is HD lace. I will list all the information about the wig and the link to the wig down below. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. 1B, I'm gonna dye it jet black, but this is the hair. All right, let me go ahead and remove the clippies. So I noticed using the T-pin needles were easier to get the strings up, like I don't have a stitch ripper so I used the T-pin needles and it made it a lot easier. So now I need to start sewing the wefts together. Uh, I picked up a wig head and it came with a thread. Uh, T-pins and a hook needle. So I'm gonna be using that. It all came in this package, which I thought was pretty cool. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But yeah, I'm gonna start working on threading this needle. So how I usually do it, it's usually with a straight needle. So having a curved needle is definitely gonna help. Um, so I usually double this because it makes it tighter and I know it's secure, opposed to just it being single string. So, ooh. That's not string line, cool. All right, just gonna cut it. I'm gonna double it like so. 
So I doubled it. You guys can see. Hopefully you can see. Um, just going to double it. usually do is I take two lines so you see how there's lines here on the wig cap I take the first line and the second line and I just sew them together like so no pun intended and then I went up so now I'm gonna go down and when I go down I'm just going to loop the the uh, string around the hook and pull it through so then it's nice and tight pull it tight and then i'm going to go up again loop the string around the hook and then pull down and then you just keep alternating so then that way it's nice and tight And even when I have a light color, so I don't know if you guys um, notice, I do have, I usually wear blonde hair, even if I have a blonde wig on. Why am I so tall? Ooh. Even if I have a blonde wig on, I still use black. I, you can't see it, so I still use black string. I mean, if you have colored hair, you can use um, a colored string. Like if you have blue hair, you can use blue string, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can't see it, but there is that option. So this is as far as I can go. <clears throat> I'm just gonna cut it. So that string honestly took me all the way to the end. I'm just gonna tie it twice. And then just cut the string. And pretty much this is what it looks like. You see it there, like all of it is weft together. So now the bottom should fit snug a little bit, at least that bottom part. So when I put it on, actually that feels really good already. The bottom feels really nice and snug. I'm going to do just two more together, like right here to really bunch it together and then do the sides. But that's pretty much how you, um, make your wig cap smaller like i said i will link down below the original video let me see if i can find her name um i know it's in one of my playlists on youtube and i have like 50 million playlists on youtube does anyone else have 50 million playlists on youtube because i do her name is nay larice or larice and it's how to resize your wig cap make your wig smaller in minutes um again i will link the video down below but that is the hat so i finished sewing all the areas so pretty much where i took out all the hair clips is where it got sewn so this is the center this is the bottom um i wound up messing up just a little bit down there but it's fine and i sewed on the sides here just where the side clips are. When I put the wig on, I've been taking it on and off this whole time. Oof. When I put this on, I feel like it does fit really snug. I try to make sure that where the ears are going to, where my ears are gonna be at, hold on. I felt like Karen Huger in um, Real Housewives of Potomac when she was shifting her wig. Um, whenever I have to shift my wig, I just think of that moment. Karen is so iconic. Um, okay, so here, it feels pretty okay. And then, what, hold on. There we go. Right where it should fall at my ears. Um, it feels pretty tight. Yeah, like right here, it feels pretty good. Um, the back is all that I'm worried about. I may make it a little bit tighter. 
at least inwards. I feel like it's too wide. Um, I'm gonna like push it together uh, width-wise because, or maybe like left to right instead of up and down because it does feel still like a little I'm gonna get the sides here and pinch this in just so it's a little bit more snug but other than that that's it I'm gonna have to bleach the knots and everything so this is the hair I already cut it off in like sections just so it's easier for me so I have this section here this section here and this section here I always glue down the middle first and I use a hair wax stick from bedhead this one right here to um, just kind of slip back the front of the hair so it's not in the way when I place down the glue. I use, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this lace tint, um, what I did was I did three layers of it. So I put the lace tint on the mousse and then like I brushed it with a makeup brush, then I blow dried it. Once I felt like it was dry enough, went in with a second layer, blow dried it, felt like it was dry enough, went in with the third layer, third layer, third layer, and then there we go. And then anything else that I'm using that I, I didn't tell you guys. I think that's it. So um, I already used the skin protector and I'm going in with the lace glue. And I'm going to be using the applicator as well that comes with the My Sticky Little Secret um, collection bundle. So I'm going to use this to get my, um, to spread the lace glue, spread the lace glue. And also just so I don't have to use my fingers. So I'm just going to use the perimeter of my hair as the guide. The best part of being bald, or semi-bald, whatever you want to call this, having a low cut. Anything that happens to my edges, it doesn't matter because like I'm literally, first of all, I don't really have any edges right now. They are all shaved off. Second of all, I'm just going to cut my hair anyway, so like... It doesn't really matter what happens, right? It's gonna grow back. And if it doesn't grow back, I'll just slap a wig on, like, you know, it's not the end of the world. Hair is just hair, it'll grow the I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it'll grow the hell back, okay? It will grow back. You just gotta wait till that's clear, so you know, be on your phone or something, I don't know. I just changed my shirt. It smelled like the, the cleaning product that I used to get the hair dye off of my um oh, I still smell it on me, that's gross. To get the hair dye off of my sink. It's just on me now. Ew. <sighs> Whatever. I'm not going anywhere. Then if I do have to go anywhere, I'll take a shower. Like when I say sticky, baby, it's sticky. Alright, now you sit and do something on your phone until it's clear. Alright, so the middle part is done, trying to do the sides. Um, this is the same process, I'm doing like two to three layers. In between each layer, I am wiping off the stick, so then that way the glue, it doesn't like build up and stuff. So make sure that in between each layer, you are wiping down the stick, so then that way you aren't um, like making a mess. Like that way it's not like clumping up and stuff. Cue the music, because I'm going silent.
And here I come back and letting you guys know that I was able to melt down the wig. However, I noticed that my microphone was not on. So I just wanted to do a voiceover and let you guys know where we're at here in the install. And the next couple clips, I'm going to be cutting off the remaining lace just so that it's all melted. But I want to say, when I took off this wig band, it was giving Scalpiana. Now, I did over tweeze the wig. You can see some bald spots there. It's very thin. I was very tweezer happy. But overall, I'm very happy with the way that this turned out. I know I wind up rating the hair at the end a 7.5, but look at that it is giving scalpiana shout out to courtney janine but it looks really really nice and i give that to the lace tint and also my sticky little secret it's so beginner friendly be sure to pick it up my discount code is in the bio or description whatever you want to call it and um the links to all the products are down there as well please shop my sticky little secret not just because i'm affiliated but because these are great products look at that it's so beginner friendly um so yeah, in the next couple clips, you're just going to see me go ahead and cut off the remaining lace and just make sure everything is intact. I just forgot to um, turn on my mic. So enjoy the music. So, um, I realized that I didn't have my microphone on, but this is um, me cutting a lace after I cut the lace. It looks pretty damn good, okay? It does not look like I have on a lace front. So, I am going to, I think, I don't know what's best. Should I use the mousse first? Because I just kind of want to tint the lace just a little bit more on the ends, or do I use the melting spray? Let me look it up, because I don't know. Apply the lace tint to the hairline. Oh, that's messy. That is messy. I don't like it. It's messy. Okay. I'm gonna work it in. I also have a brush. Where's that brush? Aha. I'm gonna have a brush. Put that in. blow dry the lace tint so i'm gonna get the blow dryer out and tint dry this lace tint i'm gonna fix the edges and stuff but Okay, it looks pretty damn good. This looks like it's my hair, that's crazy. I remember I used to be so afraid of doing wigs and like the fact that I can do them myself now, growth. That's why you guys should always try something new, okay? Always pick up a hobby, practice. Like, honestly, you're gonna mess up. That's okay, that means you're trying. That means you're learning something new. You might not get it right away in the amount of times I had some bald spots in my wigs or I didn't, you know, bleach the knots or, um, you know, anything, like you, just anything. But to know that I got it this good is, whoo, I have come a long way. All right, let me get it here because the lace started to lift um, when I put the mousse on. So let me at least 
dry that and then put some more mousse on it or do I put the mousse on it now? I'm gonna put the mousse on it now. So what I'm gonna do here is like as you can see the lace is starting to lift. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna start using the melt spray just to melt it all down and then like cover my ears for 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm just gonna close out the video because there's not much left. It's just styling and that's not what the video's for. Um, so let me use the melt spray. And as I mentioned, this is a very messy product. So I'm gonna just use my finger and just work out along the edges of the lace. I'm gonna work in sections for this, like here, because it's all lifting. Better yet, let's just put the lace glue down first and then worry about the melt spray. So it's been 24 hours. I did straighten the hair. I think we left off on that. And I haven't taken off the wig band. I'm gonna do that now. Um, I'm kind of excited to see how it melted. I fell asleep. I wrapped up my hair. I put it in picked, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's giving Scalpiana. That's crazy. Okay, except for here. Not necessarily giving Scalpiana. That's okay for the most part so let me take down the pigtails so i straightened it and to keep the hair from um like uh not it's not fully straight like this part here isn't fully straight but the ends because i straighten the ends um i just twisted the hair and then wrapped the two pigtails up and then that was it that's how i wrapped my hair up yeah it's interesting i don't I can't tell lace from skin. Guys, this is a lace front. Where's the lace? Besides like right here where it got all messy. But again, I haven't washed my face so I really can't detect where everything is sopped at. It just melted so perfectly like butter. So I do need to get like the gunk off of my ear and stuff there. Let me take down this pigtail here. Otherwise, I feel pretty comfortable. It's just like, you know, that first initial like um, night of doing a lace front where you have to sleep with the, the band on your ears. That's annoying. Um, there's pressure from that, but that's about it. All right, um, I wish I had clips in the back just so this could hook onto something because it's just like free, free for all in. I could sew it together, but I kind of feel like it's a little too late for that maybe when I do what I want done actually to the hair. Um, I'll sew it when I take this off and everything. But this is insane. Like, this is so insane. Like, I really snapped on this install. That's insane. This looks like it's my hair. Even with the fucked up part. Oh my God. This looks like my hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, let me clean up the sides. Um, I, it's gonna be another day when I do the intro and outro. I'll have like makeup on and everything, but this is insane. This is crazy. I snapped. I didn't even know I could snap like that. I snapped. <laughs> it's not even, oh, it eats. It eats and it's not even cleaned up and it eats. So 
So this is it for the final look. I actually really like the way that this hair has curled, but I would still leave it at a 7.5 for the hair. If this was like prom hair or wedding hair, I don't think I would really like it. Um, I also found that it's very hard to bleach the knots. I struggled a lot with that. Um, I had to like bleach it more than once. So that's kind of annoying. I do feel like the lace was a little bit on the thicker side as well. Um, and then the shedding of the hair, there is some shedding like when you first get it, when you brush through it and all that, like it sheds a lot. So I would give it a 7 and a 7.5. But if you were looking for like an everyday wig, I would maybe give it an 8. But overall, it's a 7.5. I will say that um, in the video, I talked about how I crisscross the bra straps in the back. That's what I call them, the bra straps, like the little straps in the back to make the wig tighter. I crisscross them to make it a lot tighter because, again, I have a little head and there's nothing to hook on there. Like, no, there's no hair to hook the clips on. So I did crisscross it. Uh, anything else? Oh, this is the second install. Um, I had to take it off and then do some tweaks and then put it back on. I think that the first install was actually really nice. I actually preferred that install over this one, but um, I don't think it's bad at all. It's just, I prefer the first one. Nothing beats the original, so I kind of like the original install I had before, but it, it is still giving scalp a little bit. I did mention I over tweezed a lot, so that's kind of annoying, but that has nothing to do with the wig itself. So I will be having more hair videos in the future, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything when it comes to the hair videos that I have coming out. But that is it for today's video. This is how I go from baldiata to blowout. Okay, so I will see you all in my next one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.